Just one. It's an Alvin one? Cousin. <laughs> From England. <laughs> and she don't want to get you close, did you? I'd just like to get this done. Want to see legal? No, sir. Hey. I, I agree to come here. Trinidad remains as the trailer you just saw there. It's a UK TT film collaboration this morning. I have with me the writer director Karen Martinez and producer Natasha Dakujumo. They join us on set this morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Thank in you. In first instance, because you would have put in the work to get this far. You're in, featured in the film festival, which is running this week. Yeah. But I'm I'm really curious about the story behind this this movie. Trinidad remains. Well. I mean, I'll tell you where it kind of came from, mm -hmm. what, what led into this, to this short film. I'm a Trinidadian filmmaker. I've been living in London for many years now. Okay. So a lot of my stories, a lot of the things that come to me have to do with home and belonging. Where is home? Where do you belong? Mm -hmm. What's your identity? So that's always fed my work. And then I made a documentary a few years back called Dreams in Transit, mm -hmm. set in Trinidad, which was about exactly that about you know where do you where do you call home mm -hmm. and making the documentary we kind of traveled all across trinidad and interviewed different people and did different things and it was like a road movie and right. now i love road movies i love like the mexican film e tu mama tambien mm -hmm. and so i thought what if i wrote a uh, something something fictional that was based on the people who migrated from trinidad to the uk in like the 50s right what would the granddaughter of somebody like that, how would she see herself? Mm -hmm. She identified as British. How would she connect to her Trinidad family if she came down mm -hmm. to a place she didn't know at all? What would that be like for her? And, and the version of Trinidad she would have heard about or seen may not be yeah. much up to what she actually reached. Exactly. Meet, yeah. And then she would, you know, she might feel like a fish out of water. Yeah. She's feeling very British. And then she kind of comes down here and is, is, is faced with this story. Mm -hmm. And that she meets a cousin who might be like completely separate, different to her, yeah. polar opposites. And this is what we, we then see in the film, okay. is that they're sort of clashing characters. One is much more buttoned up, mm -hmm. and the other one is kind of out there and a bit wired. The car is a disaster and breaks <laughs> down and does all sorts of things. Yeah. So they've got all of that going on, and they're going to have to face various crises on the way on this road trip right. before they get to their final destination. And we see what happens along the way. Of course. So we follow the journey with them as they go along. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Tell me about the collaboration now. How did the, the UK TT collaboration happen? So, um, so I'm a British producer. I run a production company called Tiger Lily Productions. Okay. And um, I read the feature film script. Karen sent it to me a few years ago. I really loved it. And I bought the British Film Institute on board to uh, develop, the, to develop the script with yeah. us. British Film Institute also gave us some money to make this short film as mm -hmm. a proof of concept. Um, and I just thought it would be a really good way of kind of testing out how this Trinidadian British co-production could work. Yeah. So um, we asked around for suggestions for producers and Lisa Wickham's name came up. And of obviously course. she's an yeah. alumni of... She's kind of a big deal. <laughs> she's kind of a big deal in these parts. So, um, so we started working with Lisa mm -hmm. to raise a bit more money out of Trinidad and Tobago for the short film right. and also just kind of set the production up. So we came over in January mm. this year and we shot it in January. Okay, and you said you wanted to see how the process would go with working with Trinidad at the UK TT yeah. collaboration. And now that you've gotten this far, <laughs> we have a film that's going to be shown. Yeah. How would you say it went? Uh, I, it, was, it was just such a great experience. Yeah. I mean, you've got this incredible landscape, you've got this incredible people. So we work with a really talented crew. And, um, and then we bought some, in, some money on from the, the Trinidad side as well. Mm -hmm. So we had people was like... That, was that an easy process, you um, would say? Well, that was something that Lisa was really brilliant ah. at. So, uh, so we had uh, C15 Studios mm -hmm. as our partners, Film TT and Task as well. 
Fantastic. So I understand that we have a, a viewing of it today. We do. And I hope everybody's going to come and see well, it. Well, everybody can see it, but we hope before we <laughs> see it. <laughs> <Some more. laughs> it's going to be, because it showed already on Friday. That was actually right. the world premiere. Mm -hmm. It hadn't been shown anywhere publicly to paying audience to come and see it. So What was the reaction? Like? That, so I, it was a brilliant reaction. It was really good. And uh, people really tapped into it. And what was really heartening about it as well, in terms of like the feature that we're going to make after this mm -hmm. is that people are like we want to see more we want to know where this journey goes so when it ends it ends on a kind of like they overcome yeah it's a cliffhanger mm. exactly and it's like what what would the rest of this journey look like how would these two characters develop people loved the relationship between yeah. the two women they loved the fact that we brought in a lot of trinidad traditional characters mm -hmm. let's say and connected on a, a sort of spiritual level as well okay. to the to the country and the landscape and the folklore and all that sort of thing. Um, so they have another chance to see it today at three o'clock mm -hmm. at Movie Town. So yeah, I yeah, just go to Movie uh, Town and, and tell him you want to see Trinidad, Trinidad Remains. Trinidad Remains, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Buy a ticket and go inside. Exactly. All right, before we wrap, uh, Natasha, tell me what's what's the next step now that we have the proof of concept. We've been showing it in the film festival. What's the next step? So we're looking to bring on partners as well. We have um, some finance out of the UK, but that sort of that involves us raising money elsewhere as well. Right. So so we're looking for partners over So the next over step here. is find partners, raise some yeah. more money, and then feature films. And find yeah. partners from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. because for the, for the UK, they really want to see that Trinidad and Tobago wants to see this feature film being made. Right. It's about Trinidad and Tobago. Right. They want to see that before they decide they're going to they're going to partner and and help bring it to screen. Okay. So if people are interested in seeing the feature, yeah, you know, now is the time. And then hopefully we'll <laughs> hopefully we'll be sitting here next year talking to you about the feature. Oh, well, I mean, hopefully yeah. you will be. I have all <laughs> yeah. faith in it yeah. that you will yeah. be back here next year for the film festival. We get to see the premiere, the world premiere of the feature exactly. film. Exactly. We're exactly. speaking it into existence, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you. And all the best days this afternoon. I know you are going to go down and check it out at 3 p.m. at Movie Town Trinidad Remains. A UKTT film collaboration. Ladies, thank you again for joining us. We take a quick break and we come back with more inside the Now Morning Show. Stick around.